Welcome back to 843 TV from Spring Island. And now we're, it's time for probably my favorite segment of all the Spring Island shows when we get to look at some really cool real estate that Spring Island offers. And um, you know, there's no better real estate in the low country, uh, for my opinion. There you go. Um, so you've got two properties, one's a home and one's a lot. Let's start with the lot, which is on 39 Goose Pond Road. Tell us about that. Okay, that, um, that's really one of my favorite pieces of property here. It's like being trans ported into a, into a, a different world. Uh, I was down there the other day with Jerry Coward, he's an architect in Savannah. Uh, we were looking at it for a couple that had looked at it last week. And it's a long three and a half acre lot. Um, you kind of go down this narrow road and all of a sudden it opens up into a pond on your right that has palmetto trees and live oaks coming uh -huh. out over it. It's, it goes all the way to a dike in the Carlton River. And then the home site itself is ringed by live oaks and palmettos and the Carlton River. And it's just a fairy tale world. You know, to build a house in there that's open up, um, just fully exposed to nature, it's almost like being in Jurassic Park or something. I mean, it's that. This entire island, honestly, is fairy tale. Yeah, isn't it? To me, every lot is beautiful. And they're all yeah, different too. They're, they're yes. all unique. Big That's what I different. love about it. So what kind of house would you put on a lot like that? Oh, um, well, elevated a little bit, um, kind of like a single width type of house with windows everywhere because there's so much privacy, the near, you can't see the nearest house. Um, so you'd just be open, It'd be like a tree Have house. a beautiful mm -hmm. view no matter what. Limit. And it's facing southeast, so you're going to get the sun coming up in the mornings, and in the winter time you'll get the warm sun coming in and the sunset, and so that's a bright, cheery house. And in the summertime you're going to have the sun come up, you'll get it in the mornings, and then you have shade and cool breezes in the evenings. Nice. And the Carlton out there is just, yeah, it's a gorgeous. Sounds relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. I feel like taking a nap right now. <laughs> and you've been telling us about this house at One Cop Landing, and it's just, from an architectural standpoint, it's absolutely stunning. So tell us about the home. Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, that was designed by Frederick and Frederick, and they're an architectural firm in, in uh, Buford. Okay. And um, they were over here the other week uh, talking to us and showing us some of their homes. And uh, they're really unique in the sense that they're a husband and wife team, and they start talking to you, and then they'll they design the home really 100% specifically to your. They desires. have amazing homes. I've looked through a lot of their stuff on Howes, and they are. Yeah. I love their design. And having a builder like that with a husband and wife team, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Because she's going to think about what the wife's going to want, and he's going to uh -huh. think about what the husband's going to yeah. want. Yeah. And, uh, and they're just amazing. And um, so this house won, uh, won an award, uh, uh, I think about five or six years ago, South Carolina Award uh, for Excellence. And it's very similar to what I was talking about that would be on the Goose Pond okay. lot. Um, this is a modern house. You come down a wide, um, you know, you come down long drive. Uh, there's a courtyard, a brick courtyard, uh, garage, dog washing station, exercise room there, four bedroom guest house, two bedrooms, um, little uh, living room, screened in porch. And then the main house is only one house wide or one room wide, uh, two offices to either side, great kitchen. Um, dining room, living room, fireplaces everywhere, uh, little living um, family room with tall ceilings. And what they've done is they've um, made a lot of volume real cozy. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't forget the amazing master bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> so you go upstairs and really you have, this bat you have this master bedroom with a fireplace. And you're looking out over the Carlton River. And there's a dock to this house also, so you can have your own boat out there. And then you walk in um, to this bathroom that's got these marble tiles, radiant heat floors, and that opens up totally to a sleeping porch and the Carlton River. You could live in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> it's amazing. It's just off the charts. And um, so it's just a really classy home, unusual. Um, like you said it all, it's a low country, modern home. It's very contemporary, low country. Yeah. And it has all the perks of being in the low country, I think, where it feels nice and comfy. It doesn't. Sometimes people get turned off by contemporary quotes mm -hmm. because they feel like it's cold and uninviting. Yeah. But I will, in my personal opinion, these architects and designers have a perfect meld of that clean contemporary look and that kind of rustic charm of the low country. But this house is amazing and I've not even seen the lot. I can't imagine what the lot looks like, but how, 
that house is beautiful. It's incredible. It really That's an is. advantage to having a local architect. They know the, yeah. the area, they mm -hmm. know what works and yep. what, what's functional. Yeah, and every home here at Spring Island starts with an architect. Yeah. And uh, so every home's different because every, right. every environment, every person's different. That's right. Yeah. Well, as if we are, haven't sold it already, <laughs> tying in with our previous segments, we've talked about all of the things that fell under the umbrella of the fitness and the wellness center. But you guys want to highlight two more really fun outdoor activities. You have a clay range mm -hmm. and tell everybody about the Red Bluff Plantation because that sounds very entertaining. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, we're all about activities and the outside. We're called a sporting, sporting community. And uh, we have a, a sporting range, clay range, um, that's just amazing. We have a five station uh, range and a 10 station. It's all set in a natural environment with uh, solar powered, you know, so it's real um, environmentally sensitive. It's natural, it's to emulate the quail hunting environment that you would be in, so tall grasses and pine trees around. And on Fridays, uh, the ladies go there at 10 every Friday and they shoot and there's a fire going there and the guys are, you know, um, Mike Perry and his assistant are there helping them out and uh, then at 12 uh, the men come and they shoot. I'd much rather shoot ski than play bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sounds yeah. like a lot more fun. I know it's a lot of fun and that's a growing sport now and really a lot of people um, come here because of that particular um, particular environment. Now Red Bluff and Plantation kind of got it up there too. That sounds that's amazing. Uh, it's a 6,000 acre hunting preserve. We used to be a hunting community here, but there are too many houses, 260 houses, so we can't hunt here anymore. Uh, so we uh, go to Red Bluff Plantation, we lease that, and um, they 6,000 acres, quail hunting, and they have, um, uh, they have two-man hunts and four-man hunts, and the four-man hunts are really neat because they have these mules pulling these wagons wow. and guys on horseback. and you know, the dogs are in the wagon and you're just going out. I mean, it's just like it's another world. stepping back 150 so cool. years. It really is. Yeah. It's another world. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we've ran out of time because we could sit and talk about this forever. Mm -hmm. But thank you for being with us again. For more information about the amazing real estate and features here at Spring Island, please visit their website. And make sure that you join us next time for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.